Welcome back to this new Pits of Rage tutorial. Today we want to create an abstract sci-fi hall. We will use geometry nodes to create some shaft columns. After that we will add some materials, some lights and some fog. Finally we will add some compositing overall. Let's jump right in. Okay, here we are in a fresh blender scene. Let's hide our cube here for now. And now we want to bring in here a new mesh, which is a plane. Let's press N to bring the transform menu and we want to change the dimension to 250 by 50. Okay, let's rename this one here now to floor and we want to duplicate this by pressing Shift and D. And let's rename this one to ceiling and let's put this up in the Z value to 20. Okay, now let's hide these two and we want to bring in back our cube. Let's select the cube. Let's press tab to go into edit mode and we want to select the upper points here now and change the Z value to 20. Let's select now the left uh, front points here and let's change this one here to zero. Let's select here the right points and let's change this to 0.8. Okay, let's leave the edit mode by pressing tab and we want to rename this one here to shaft. Let's go here into the modifiers and add a new bevel and we want to change the amount to 0.06 and let's increase the segments to 15. Okay, now let's go into the geometry nodes and re-enable the floor and the ceiling. Let's select the shaft and create a new geometry nodes. And this is a basic setup. We want to use here a mesh line. We want to use an instance on points. And now let's pipe the mesh into the points and the geometry here into the instances and the instances to the geometry. Okay, let's change the mesh line offset here to endpoints and increase the count to 100. Let's change the start location here in the X to minus 100 and the end location to 100 and the Z value to zero. And now we can change here the rotation to 119, but that is always up to you. How you like <laughs> the rotation of your shafts. Now let's select the shafts here and I want to push back this here in the Y a little bit to 20.35. Okay, now that is basically our scene here for today. Now don't forget here to add a character I want to use here our uh, our rust as always let's select this guy and press alt and g to bring this to zero 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 and now we can go ahead and change the camera view here now select this one here and press zero on the numpad to go into the camera mode and let's change this to seven by minus four uh, 1.6 and the rotation is 96 by zero by zero and now we have to make a second window because we want to change here now into rendered mode we want to use here the type of the camera panoramic we can use only panoramic in the cycles render engine so let's change this from ev to cycles and we can see now that we have this cool fish eye effect here okay let's change here the lens now to 15 by 350 so everything fits here right in our view i forget to change here the uh, device to to gpu compute to use the graphics card as well and let's go back into the camera settings and i want to change the passport to one so that we can see here our final output okay now we can go ahead and start with some materials first let's select here our floor and we want to bring in this window here again I want to change this to shade editor add a new material which will be concrete we can use here the node regular plugin if you don't have this enabled go to preferences add-ons and search for wrangler enable this one now we want to select here the principal bsdf and press here add principal setup and we want to use here this roughness normal gl uh, concrete color occlusion metalness and displacement Let's add this one and now we can see that we are having here some textures on our floor but it looks a little bit stretched and to change this we have to go here into the scale and change this to 16 by 4 and I want to increase here now the normal map with 5. Yeah and to make this a little bit more interesting and not so repetitive we have to use 
another principal BSDF. Let's select this one and press Shift and D. And to connect these two together, we have to search here, search here for a mix shader, pipe this here in between, and bring this BSDF here into the second shader. Yeah, and to create a kind of puddle look, I want to go here in the base color to black. Let's increase the metallic to one because we want to have some full reflections and change the roughness now down. As you can see here now in the right window, everything is reflective. I'll turn this to one. That is the full shader here. The reason why we are having here this bumpiness is that the displacement works now on both shader. When we are put this out here, we can see that we have only this one here working but i want to uh, leave this because i like to have a little bit more details in the puddles as well yeah and to make this a little bit more uh, randomized we can search here now for a noise texture pipe the color one into the factor to use this as a mask let's search here for a color ramp pipe this here in between to see what we are doing Let's change here the sliders, this white one down and the black one. I want to change here the directions now. And let's do this here a little closer, maybe to something like this. Now we can scale up our noise here to something like 23.3 and increase the detail to 15 and maybe the roughness a little bit up to 0.7. Okay, that looks better. But as you can see, it's stretched like the other one. So what we can do now is add a texture setup and change here maybe <laughs> select this and put this a little bit up and now we can change here the scale to minus 3.7 or <laughs> 3.7 as you like that is better and that is the concrete texture which we want to put on our ceiling as well so make life a little bit easier let's select this one here put this on okay the last material which we want to create now is here for our shaft he has already a material on it let's select this one here and add a new principal setup and we want to use here the metal same thing again roughness color normal map displacement metalness as you can see now that looks here a little bit repetitive you can see that the pattern goes uh, all the way down here and to change this, we have to go here now and uh, change this to generated, UV to generated, and change the whole stuff here to box. Okay, that looks <laughs> repetitive as well, but that's only the preparing for the next step, which is when we are going into the geometry nodes, we have to search for material, set material, and Select here now our material, which is metal. Let's rename this metal here. Okay, now we have to use here a realize instance. And now the whole geometry node is one mesh. That means that the material is going over the whole duplicated shafts. Now. Let's go back into shading and let's change here now the scale a little bit. So I want to go here with 1.1 by Point 0.9 and now we can see here that is here something different right now okay let's go here into the roughness and i want to pipe here a ramp color ramp in between let's bring up a little bit the black slider and the white slider a little bit down okay that is everything with the materials now let's go here to the lightning and Stuff like that we have already here a light in our scene let's change here the color of this one maybe let's turn bring this a little bit down here let's change here now the color of our light to something bluish and i want to change the point light here to area light let's bring this light here to a new position which will be 0 by 23 by 10. let's change the rotation to minus 90 by 0 by 0. Let's leave it on rectangle, but we have to increase the power to 100,000. Let's add two zeros here. And let's change the X size now to 50 by 17. That looks good here right now. 
and now we can go here into the world properties let's change here the color of the background to uh, the light color as well so let's use the same hex code now that fits a little bit better here in the scene and the last thing for the scene here is now new cube which will be the fog cube now let's change this cube now to 142 by 45 by 60 let's add a new material on this one we don't need the principal bsdf let's press x and let's search here for a new volumetric scatter pipe this here into the volume i want to turn down here now the density to 0.2 okay and we want to add here another noise texture so let's bring this one in pipe the color into the color and let's pipe here a ramp color ramp in between and now we can turn down here the black slider so we're having here a little bit more random fog going on and maybe we can play here with the scale a little bit let's go here with a scale of 9.3 the rest is okay for me and to have a little bit more contrast let's bring back the fog a little bit in the y so let's push this on 30 meters here in the back so we have a little bit more darker stuff here on the outside okay that's basically everything for the scene we can now add some effects so let's go here into the render properties and change here now the color management and the look to very high contrast now we can change here the right window to uh, the compositor and enable use nodes yeah, for the next one i want to use here an image which is this one yeah and now we can add here a mix mix node and pipe this here in between and the image into the other image the reason is why we can't see here anything is we have to enable here the compositor to always now we can see our image but that looks a little bit weird so we can Go into the mix node and change this here to overlay so now we are bring back our <laughs> rendering or our 3d scene and let's uh, turn uh, down the factor to 0.47 let's add here some more stuff to bring the overlay a little bit more into our uh, rendering so what we can do now is search here for transform Maybe I put this one here a little bit down. So let's bring in here the transform. And I want to change the scale to 0.3. I think that's a little bit better here. And now I want to search for a hue contrast value and change here the color a little bit to 0.55. So the blue of the image matches a little bit more to our, uh, to our scene here. And let's change down the root saturation to 0.75. Everything else is okay. And we can add here another RGB curve and turn this one a little bit down here it is okay. And the last node here is now a glare node. Let's put this here in between. And I want to use here ghosts and change this to high. Iteration 3 is okay, color moderation is okay as well. Let's change the mix to minus 0.5 and the threshold 2.4. If you want to render this out, I use in the performance here a tile size of 512. And in the sampling of the rendering, I used a max samples of 250. 56 uh, without a denoise that was this tutorial and if you like my stuff check out and subscribe to my channel if you want to support me check out my gumroad or blender market page see you there and bye